What's up guys, my name's Kelland. Um, first off, I'm glad to have you guys here for a couple minutes with me today. Um, I'm going to be talking about TJ Hunt, um, but before I talk about him, I am somewhat a fan of him. I have liked his videos for a long time, and uh, I think he's a cool YouTuber. I think he actually does take a lot of time to put into his content. So just let me say that before getting into the video. Um, me and him have actually had an altercation in the past. They, they wanted me to do a poll, and I was like, dude, it ain't fast. They hosed me, dude. They. <laughs> TJ, what? What? And then Evan Shanks, dude. Ooh, half a pound of boost. Nice half pound of boost. Maybe half a well, nice half pound of boost. Oh, well, I sold that car anyway, so I, I could care less at this point. Um. He's also had a yellow 350 though, which he now has color changed to red, and he did the yellow a lot better than me. So, um, but that being said, let's get into why TJ Hunt must be stopped. I first want to talk about the RX-7 that he has. Um, I know at least speaking for myself, I was so, so bummed when TJ put on those wheels. That fitment is so bad, dude. He didn't want to roll the fenders or something, and like, I'm not sure what reason he had to make it fit like that but it fits terrible um kelvin's white brz actually fits fantastic and i think looks really really nice but now he wants to put um like under lighting in every possible hole of the car like every vent and like i don't i don't know man the tron brz i thought he had his fun with that like i'm not pumped um, I wish he would just leave it. I think it's like done if he added a little bit more camber I think it's basically done, but he's gonna mess around with it more. So for now it looks sick um, He also owns a 240 and I remember when they called out eliminate with that 240 and The day before was so promising. They were like hyping it up They're like we're gonna make these fit good and I was like, okay Like I don't like the tires too much, but they're saying they're gonna keep up with eliminate like let's see what's up as you can see here Oh my god no. It Look at it on camera. You guys are trying to tell us that we need to push up our stance game. We're taking this uh, slight mishap of fitment and making it into a challenge. We're going to try to roll and push these fenders and try to make this work. The aggressive fitment challenge, baby. And then the reveal next day when they put on tires, like rubber band sidewalls, like couldn't have been much more than 35 sidewalls. They, they look ridiculous. Anticipation is killing me. Easy, easy, look at it sink, look at it so. Wait, what? Is anyone else like mind blown right now? You need to slam it, Calv. And then TJ said slam it. Slam it. <laughs> Coils max low, is it even gonna tuck? Oh my God, dude. You don't need to do anything. I mean, if he hits a bump. I don't know if that was like, Slammed like it's just like it has a lot of ground clearance still um, Shout out to Calvin too also saying he would put 20s on a 240. I like it. I like big wheels. I would do 20s. No, no don't take that take back. Please take that back. I would do it. I, I don't I don't know about that and realistically that fitment isn't god-awful It's really not that terrible, but when you compare it to eliminates cars and saying you're calling them out like man, you really set the bar high I had expectations, but that's okay. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is TJ's specific choice in wheels. And like, all right, let me let me just first say um, I can't tell you how many times I've watched TJ like build up big reveals for his wheels, especially with his RX-7, where he was talking about it for probably nine months and it was rolling around on like dummy wheels in the shop. I was so excited to see what wheels he got. He was talking about getting them measured professionally and they like measured the inside of his fender wells and I was like alright these things are gonna fit perfect I can't wait to see them HRE which is a known three-piece wheel dealer is making them I was like this is gonna be awesome these are gonna be sick I can't wait and man what a letdown Ooh, dang those are sick Dude, that that is like he has the nicest suspension set up in it as well. He has the Endo CVT, which is a completely silent bag system. So he could air up and air down as much as he wanted. He could air out at every stoplight if his fitment was sick. And he just like missed it by such a huge mark. Like the lips are tiny. They're step lips. They don't look that good. I know they're J-hook lips, which was his like main attraction to it. But I don't care about that. I can't see that looking at the car. 
the lips are terrible, the specs are bad, the offsets look wrong, like, I, I don't understand. The front is tucked in like an inch and the rear is lifted on bags and not aired out all the way. I just, I really, really can't understand that. I still can't understand why he puts one piece wheels on his Rocket Bunny 350Z. That blows my mind, man. If I had a car that nice, I would 100% be looking like Z-Jack or something. Like, that's crazy to me why you would have um, one piece wheels on that car. So then, those wheels were pretty bad. I did not like the way they fit. I didn't like the way they looked. They looked like a set of replica wheels because they were specced so poorly. Like, it looks like someone just bought reps while they're waiting for their real wheels to come. It looks that bad, in my opinion. Um, and then, like magic, TJ switched the wheels from his Super to his RX-7. Why? Why? He now does not even air out the car. That's right. Nicest bag system available. The Endo CVT. Beautiful. 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 And he does not air out because he traded his three-piece wheels for TE37s. TJ, why? Um... Okay, so aside from all that stuff, I know that's all kind of petty. This is the only real serious thing I'm going to talk about. Um, but let me say, I don't know TJ. I've, I've met him once very, very, very briefly. I do not know the person at all. Um, I can't speak into his personal life. I'm just going off of what I see on screen, which often is not a full representation of a person. Um, or in this case, a relationship. Um, TJ has m many, many, many times in the past clickbaited his relationship with Sabrina about specifically breaking up. Um, I've been watching TJ Hunt for a really long time and I actually do remember when Sabrina came in the picture. She came in kinda after they just got the first shop um, and he was like, yeah, she used to know me a long time ago and now we're starting to date. There was no explanation there and I think anything I say is just gonna be a conspiracy. I personally have my opinions that she saw him succeeding and then liked him. I don't really know. I think TJ's a cool guy, but I, I'm i not sure of the legitimate there. Um, I will say I do have some kind of crazy drama from a video a while ago that I, I've watched over a couple times and it's just like, she. I'll just show you the footage and let you decide. Can we get some other air back here? I'm like okay. suffocating. Sorry, ma'am. Whoa. A little bit with Daniel. Yes. I told him my... Oh, what? Have... My lisp is catching on, you said yesterday. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, Come on, somebody back me on that. Okay, you're gonna play that back tonight? You were yesterday, me and Daniel. Anyways. Like, I love trucks. No, we, seen your, we saw your comment in the last video. Talking about how Man, big that truck was and how much you hated it. I hate trucks, yeah. dude. I, wow. I, I, bang, bang. Oh, Sorry. Enjoy Enjoy cheesecake. Oh my god, you just kicked my hand. Driving this truck for the first time is really awesome. It's extremely spacious. I don't think she likes it very much. <laughs> no, I like it. It's nice. I just don't see a point in like daily th this kind of thing. Which means no, I would just daily the BRZ or no. the RX-7. Dude, the RX-7 is not done. The BRZ breaks down every five feet. Whoa. And this is too big. The BRZ hasn't had an issue since I figured out what was wrong. What was wrong with it? The crankshaft positioning sensor wasn't tightened down. That's why it kept breaking down. The what? The yeah. crankshaft positioning sensor. So far, I'm giving this car a huge thumbs up. What are those? Driving a turbo diesel is weird because I can like hear turbo noise in a truck. <laughs> oh, whoa. Bro. Which is like weird. And I'm like, it took me a while to figure out like the bound. No. So it's, I don't know, it's very interesting for me. I am enjoying it though, for sure. Wait, I just came up with a good idea. If you got a big truck, how cool would it be? To lift my matrix into the trunk. <laughs> With me in it. This is my life. <laughs> Wait, is that not a cool idea? Mind you, that video is kind of old. It came out sometime last year, I believe. But there's a lot of weird tension in that video. And it's just like uncomfortable to have no music in a lot of the spots. I just... It... it it's weird to portray your relationship like that on the internet and then be upset when people comment, like, hateful comments about her. Um, it's the internet. I mean, people comment very rude things on my video and I just can't reply to it. I mean, I 
Or, yeah, actually, I kind of mess around with them. I don't know. Getting hateful comments on the internet is a really common thing, and it's just, like... He was saying he was gonna ban people from the channel that were saying things about it and stuff, and it's like, dude... You're the one clickbaiting it all the time. Like, people commenting on it, it's fine. I... I don't know. She also looked like she might have been intoxicated in that video. She seemed kind of... We'll put my matrix... I don't know, she seemed a little bit out of her sorts that video, so maybe there was something going on there. And that's not an excuse, but it's not my business. Overall, I think TJ Hunt's an amazing YouTuber. So, I don't know, I don't have much more to say about TJ. I kind of feel bad using him in the title, but if you've watched this far, I'm trying to explain that I don't dislike TJ. I'm just trying to point out the things that TJ does wrong as any YouTuber, as myself. I've done a lot of things wrong. But thank you guys so much for the support over these past couple weeks. It's been really awesome. I'm sorry I haven't been able to put out as much cool content. I don't have my car at the moment. However, parts are now ordered for that car and I'm getting it back in... I don't want to say an exact time, but it's coming very, very soon. A lot of the pieces just lined up this week, so... Um, it'll be back to me very, very soon, so you can look forward to videos of that. Another thing, if you've made it this far in the video, I'm putting out a feeler about making a couple t-shirts when I hit like milestones on YouTube to release to you guys. I, I'd probably do like a very limited run of them, maybe 10 or 20 shirts that I would sell at a time. And I'm not really sure where that would be conducted at the moment. I'm not sure if I would go ahead and make a website or if I would just do it on my Instagram. Um, leave me a comment below if you have any opinions on that or if you think it's just kind of try hard to be making merchandise this, this early. Um, I just think it would be cool to sell t-shirts to a couple people that really like it and uh, support it from this time. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys yet again for all your support and um, peace.